All right. Um, Dark Souls 2. Finally got my mic working as well. Well, not working, but uh, for some reason, the damn game volume would be like eight times louder than my mic, even though my mic had like all the volumes on max and crap. But I got it working. So yeah. Hi YouTube. Uh, Dark Souls 2 here. I meant to do a walkthrough from the very beginning, but apparently I didn't find out about my issue until like now. Actually, I decided to check on the video, and it sounded like shit. So I was kind of too lazy to uh, start the game from the beginning, considering this is practically the beginning. I haven't killed any bosses. So this is just the first area. So yeah. If anything, you guys probably just missed the beginning, the first two cinematics. Uh, which I suppose you can YouTube somewhere else, I guess. Um, I got the mansion key as well, if you don't know where to get that, it's uh, over there in the little cave entrance. Which you get there by jumping off of that, down there. Then you jump from that thingy, on over there, go in that cave. And I'm about to die. And I fucking died. Well, that's awkward. Oh shit, that was death number 5 million. Um, so yeah, onwards. Just like my Dark Souls 1 walkthrough, which I never finished, and I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna be making a night because, I don't know, just something I don't normally do. I usually have a dagger build, like backstabbing and shit, but whatever. Kind of looking forward to it, actually. There's definitely a lot of strength weapons in this damn game. Ow. Ow. As you can see, I saw gas without my dagger, but whatever. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Wakada! <laughs> Dead. Anyhow. Oh, and I did Pete's thing too, I'll show you now in a sec. Can you jump down here? This dude. Oh, actually, no, he kind of killed me and I messed up. Whatever, and this gate's gonna be open, you talk to him, and he's like, oh, go through this, so close, and then make your way out. And when you do that, he gives you a ring, which I believe well, I'm about to get. I see you. I hope that. Be careful. Oh. There it is. Oh, that. No, not that. With luck. Well, I hope that. Oh, I guess that is what he gives you. Oh, you get the ring when you kill him, or after his quest line. It's a thorn ring, nothing too big, but whatever. That's an ambush, I wouldn't go in there. Even though there's, I think it was a magic spell? If you're a sorcerer, you should probably go in there. I don't remember what else was in there, and I really don't feel like checking, because I don't feel like dying anymore. <sighs> All of this blows up if, um, well, awkward. <laughs> Fuck. That normally doesn't happen uh, with his first grenade, but, well, we're going to Dark Souls. Okay, so I totally just found the shortcut. I've seen the shortcut before, I just didn't know it was here. Uh, this wall can blow up, apparently. And bam, you're back to where I died. Oh shit, fail. I'm gonna try that again. Just kidding, no I'm not. I don't even know why I picked up that. That was a waste. Oh, come on, really? God damn you. Oh shit. Fine, I'll do it myself. God damn you people. Pretty sure I have one. Hmm. Guess that can work. Uh wow, that was a waste. Well, there goes that. Oh shit. God damn. Okay, this game is just a little racist now. I'm, I'm gonna fucking get it. <laughs> what? Oh, well, screw it. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know, maces are really good against heavy armored people. Well, not maces. Well, uh, um, strike weapons in general. Normally, I'd hit him for like 50 or something. It would take quite the amount of strikes to kill him. But in this case, it's cake sauce. 
Strike weapons. Strike. I think it's called strike. I'll show you now. Yeah, see? Strike. Right here. That's uh, weapon... Those weapon types are really good against heavy armored people. So if you're ever having difficulties, just like the the next area is a bunch of golems. And I'll show you that soon enough. Uh, yeah, and yeah, the next area is a bunch of golems, which, as you can already imagine, are heavily armored. God damn it. I really hate those spear guys. Faggots. Oh, there's a halberd over there, but I really don't want to waste my time getting it. I'll show you in a second. <sighs> you go up that platform and all the way at the end. Behind that guy is a halberd. But when you look back, there'll be two of these guys. They're sleeping, they just wake up and they push you off the cliff. Unless you kill them. But yeah. Open up this shortcut. Um, I'm not sure if there's any way to tell like, from watching the video, but this is a cracked version. Uh, I'm not using any trainers or anything for this run, but I have the game already for my PS3 and I didn't want to waste 60 bucks. So I just got it cracked and figured I'd make videos and shit. So yeah, just had to get that out of the way. <laughs> and even if I did use trainers, I mean, oh, sh <laughs> uh, awkward. Anyhow, even if I did use trainers, I don't think it would have mattered regardless, considering oh, well, it's cracked, so I can't really play online. <sighs> Crap! Third death of the video, unacceptable. Oh, sh wait, actually, I should. Probably buy some thingies. Yep, that's point three. Oh god. Oh, he looks very alive. Hi! <sighs> Take that. And that. Not that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I should probably turn human. In order to proceed with Pate's storyline, you kind of need to be human so you can summon him here. There it is. And he can't die during a fight either, so yeah. I'll just be going on ahead without him, don't mind me. I'll let you guys watch the cinematic. Angry ass tree. Not really a tree, but an angry ass giant. Very angry. I think it's a really good weapon to use against him. I waste too much energy. Try an axe. Nope, never mind. Axe is even worse. Oh shit. As soon as he gets to halfway health, he'll rip off his rip his arm off and use it as a weapon, which you will see in a second. God damn it! Get over here, you slut! And there he goes. He's ripping it off. Yep. Rips it right out. Whoa. Oh shit! <laughs> 